how do I get the CAP exam? How do I get the Certified Authorization Professional Certification? First things first, you want to go to iscsquared.org, iscsquared.org, um, and then click on certifications here, and then go to CAP. So this takes you to the CAP homepage. And it has a video that talks about how to become a CAP, the Certified Authorization Professional. And then here are things you could download uh, to get you more um, cool stuff about the CAP exam. Now, ISC Square has its own training online, which is kind of pricey. But if you click there, it will lead you to their uh, training. All right, so here it's showing the pathway to certification one. Ensure that the cap is right for you. So how do you do that? Um, if you are interested in a job as uh, an ISSO, Information System Security Officer, a job as a, an assessor, a job as a system owner, um, or a GRC, Governance Risk and Compliance Analyst, then this would be the right certification for you. If you're looking to be in the Governance Risk and Compliance uh, space, then this would be the um, certification for you. The next step would be to go register for the exam. Click on here, it should take you to the different test centers where you could register. So Pearson View, Prometric, those are uh, Texas, um, I think it's Texas Instrument, I forget the name, but I think those are some of the uh, test centers that you could go to to take the exam. Then three, get certified. Um, four, become a, uh, a member of ISC Squared. So becoming a member of ISC Squared, once you get certified, you get some perks, so you get like uh, CPEs, you get um, discounts on uh, seminars and uh, and programs and stuff like that. Um, so this is their pathway. My advice would be, one, this is okay. Find out if it's right for you, okay? Um, are you someone who's technically inclined, who's not technically inclined? This would be a good place to start as you know, as it pertains to going getting into cybersecurity. Um, I wouldn't go ahead and register for the exam right away, um, although this step might help people um, to be more uh, cautious or conscious of the exam. This step might help put uh, your feet to the fire. But I would advise you to know if it's right for you first, then get the study materials, enroll in training, get trained, and then if you still feel like it's right for you, go ahead and register for the exam. And then get certified and become a member. That's my own pathway that I suggest. So they have their own um, little spill here about if it's right for you. And these are the other certifications that, the, that ISC Squared, the organization, Holds. Uh, these are the ones. Uh, this one is CISSP, which is one of the most valuable and respected cybersecurity uh, certifications on the planet. Um, so don't go getting this one first. <laughs> All right. So now, if you went into download. It's going to ask you for your name um, and some information, and you'll be able to download the ultimate guide to CAP. All right, so once you enter your name and information, 
you will get access to the ultimate guide. And then there are also uh, five free resources that you could um, enjoy. So there's the certification prep kit, exam action plan, CAP webcast series, CAP snap app quiz, CAP interactive flashcards. So they've got a lot of information here to prep you for the exam. And then here uh, are phone numbers and email addresses for uh, people you can contact if you had um, additional questions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ultimate guide. All right, so this link leads you to a uh, PDF, shows you the ultimate guide to the CAP, Certified Authorization Professional. Just more information, talks about if it's right for you. And of course, getting the CAP exam, you're required to have some um, experience in cybersecurity or experience within some of the domains of the CAP exam. You're supposed to have two years experience and I believe you could substitute some of the uh, years of experience with, with college um, uh, college work or a college degree. Uh, let me see. I know it explains that somewhere. Jobs that typically use or require the CAP, U.S. federal government, such as the U.S. Department of Defense, local government, private sector organizations, civilian roles, such as federal contractors. And these are some testimonials. Uh, let's see. So it's saying that the average salary of someone who gets, uh, who holds the CAP uh, certification it's 121k and some change. Uh, that's not bad at all. Cap and governance, risk and compliance. So basically, the cap exam is based on NIST 800-37, the risk management framework. This is a document that NIST, National Institute of Science and Technology put out. Um, so this exam is based on mastery of that actual document. It's not technical at all. Benefits of being CAP certified, career development, respect, versatile skills. Um, this is one of those um, certifications where if you get it, you know the material, you know um, the stuff to do your job. Do you still need some coaching? Yeah, but I would say you're like 75% uh, there. Okay, so these are some of the benefits you get as an ISC Square member. Um, it's saying you get 50% off on official textbooks, uh, webinars, volunteer opportunities. So these are some nice perks. And you also get a digital badge. Uh, this you can put on LinkedIn to let people know you're uh, certified, and you can also put that uh, on your um, your email. So the CAP exam overview. This would be uh, some of the sections that you need to uh, pay attention of, um, and so it, it breaks everything down into percentages. Number of items on the CAP exam, 125. Um, maximum time to take the exam is three hours, 125 questions, and you need a 700 out of 1,000 passing score. Pearson View is a test center. Um, exam will be in English. So ISC Square has their own official training. Again, it is pricey, but if you feel like it's uh, what you want, you can go ahead and enroll. Um, pathway to CAP certification. 
So these are the domains. So the domains really would be uh, categories, different categories uh, of where the knowledge base would be. So they're going to ask you questions based on these uh, seven domains. Um, so here is talking about how to maintain your CAP certification. So once you get it, you you have an annual maintenance fee of $125, and that will be good for three years. Um, well, the annual maintenance fee will be good uh, every year. That's why it's called annual, so you pay that every year. Where the three years comes into play is your CPEs. So you need to have 60 CPEs, which will be good for three years. And CPE stands for continu Continuing Professional Education, I believe it is. Uh, basically, these are um, things you could do to maintain your certification. So webinars, classes, uh, teaching on the sub subject or within any of the domains will help you maintain your certification. And here it shows some CPE opportunities, um, webinars you could join, uh, things you could read and write, attend, trainings, uh, you could be a volunteer that could help and count towards your CPEs. All right. And this is just some contact information about ISC squared. So let's go back to the resources certification prep kit. Again, you would have to put in your information in here to be able to download uh, this prep kit. Let's go back. Here it gives you an action plan on taking the exam. Put your information in there and you'll be able to get that. CAP webcast series, I know they had this in the past. It seems like they brought it back. Get a sneak peek inside the CAP domains. This is cool. Um, this, I believe, will be beneficial. So yeah, sign up for this. Here, uh, it's talking about a quiz, practice quiz. Oh, you could begin. Not bad at all. Cap interactive flashcards. So flashcards based on the different phases of the RMF. You put in your information and you'll get this. So the RMF is the risk management framework, and it has these seven phases, the prepare phase where you prepare for, for the assessment and the authorization of that system. Categorize is where you categorize the system to see if it's a low, uh, moderate, or high system. And then once you know if it's a low, moderate, or high system, you select security controls that apply to either a low, moderate, or high system. Security controls are things that you put in place to uh, reduce risk, so firewall, uh, antivirus software, policies, uh, those would be uh, security controls. Implement, so you move on to the implement phase. Once you know what those security controls are, then you implement them. You install the antivirus software, you install the firewall, you write to develop the policies. Then once you have all that in place, then it's ready for assessment. So the assessor is gonna come in the assess phase to assess that system to see if it is compliant. If it is, then it gets uh, authorized, which moves on to the next phase. So it gets authorized, it gets uh, something called an ATO, an authority to operate. Once it gets an authority to operate, then you move on to the next phase, continuous monitoring. So you monitor the system to make sure that nothing changes within the system or the system's environment, making sure that you don't invalidate the authorization that you just received. And that 
that in a nutshell is the risk management framework and that's what this exam is based on so I hope you guys found this informative um, let's see I would advise you to uh, read and uh, go to all the nice resources that they provided definitely read Miss 800 37 Rev 2. Um, there's also an official ISC squared book. Um, I would advise you to, to get that if you want. And if you don't have enough money to get that, just read Miss 800 37 and uh, go to the exam outline to see the different things, uh, supplemental resources that they recommend for the exam. I hope you found this video informative. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos um, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, it comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at Cyberfirst Solutions. Thank you.